This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Hey there, buddy! Damn! Is that- wait, is this the school? This is a tiny little school, with like a tractor out front. Are we in like a hick town of some kind? Not to be rude, but like, are we in like... He mentioned that there were no ice cream parlors in the place he lived, or like, restaurants at all. Are we like in tiny little farmland Japan? Population 50? <laughs> That would be interesting. Hina oh, oh, yeah, sure enough. Hinamizawa was a really small village. Not only was there only one school, but there was only one class. Wow, really? That class encompasses all different grades and ages. How does that even work? Some kids need to learn about algebra, and other kids aren't going to be able to do that. There are about 30 students at different levels, and they all study in the same class. How? I'm told that long ago there used to be a bigger school building, and they had actual separate classes. However, it seems something happened that made it become a single class, and now it stayed that way out of tradition. Suspicious. I was shocked at first, but humans adapt pretty quickly, and I've already gotten quite used to it. The sound of children playing started right from the morning. With such a lively mood, it felt more like a kindergarten than a proper school. Not that that was a bad thing. No, there are 30 students here, not 6. It's 5 times bigger than the school... Well, no, okay, the actual student body is six times bigger than Grisea, or five times bigger than Grisea, but the Grisea school was way bigger, like the actual building and grounds. Mion, who had been walking up in front of us up until then, suddenly let me take the lead right in front of the classroom door. So I was meant to slide the door open and enter the room first. Heh. <laughs> Too bad, I wasn't going to fall for that one again. What? 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 Uh-huh. <laughs> Mion chuckled with a haughty smirk on her face. I got it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? Okay, I do... I like this sprite a lot. <laughs> with, like, the... <laughs> <laughs> but I guess, I guess this is good as well. You are always blushing, Rena. Uh-oh, are we getting the murder girl already? Satoko? Her name was Satoko... Oh, I can't pronounce that. Hojo. She was a disrespectful, impudent, bossy kid. I don't like her already. The way she talks was annoying, but it would be immature to get worked up over just that. The real problem was this. A haughty laugh came from beyond the door. What is going on? After falling for such intricate traps since the day I transferred, I no longer let my guard down. Satoko liked to combine a variety of traps. Traps that were simply there to bait you into the main one. Traps that relentlessly kept coming at you like a sadistic Rube Goldberg machine. The list goes on. What is this? Is this kid, like, setting up booby traps in the school? How does the one student faculty allow this? This is ridiculous. As well as being clever, they almost never misfire. When you least expect it, she strikes. No escape. No time to relax. This sounds extremely gimmicky. I took a pretty heavy hit from a blackboard eraser loaded with rocks on my first day. What? What is going on in this school? Can we have a normal school? Actually, we did, and it was in Clanad. It wasn't even that normal, but it was compared to these. <laughs> That's what Satoko was after. Making me focus my attention upward. So as I lifted my hand to the door... There were thumbtacks stuck to the sliding door handle with a tape. A frightening trap. What? This girl is trying to, like, actually hurt people. What is wrong? Oh, I don't like this girl already. A potent and terrifying trap. Concealed by using the blackboard eraser. Oh, 
Assured of my victory, I threw the door open and stepped into the room. I felt something strange at my ankle. It was similar to the sensation of a jump rope catching on my leg. By the time I realized, she had me. Hook, line, and sinker. It was already too late. I began to fall in an almost picturesque manner. Instinctively reaching to Mion's shrill warning, I twisted my body in midair before I landed on the floor. <sighs> Can I just have a normal visual novel for once? I would even settle for just a horror one. An ink stone filled to the brim was placed right where I would have landed. I shuddered, imagining the situation had I landed square on it. So you're the little pranky girl, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, you have to let the animation finish or close the menu to switch to the art style, eh? Oh, she's very annoying in the original art style. And she's got the little fane in the PlayStation art style. Interesting. She speaks in a more refined voice than I would have expected. Still sprawled out in an awkward position, I was greeted by a mocking voice. Oh, great, and now she's evil. Who could have anticipated? Yike. Okay, I don't like- I do not like the original art style of her. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I gotta admit, the PlayStation graphics are pretty great. <laughs> they are pretty great. But I'm, I'm sticking with the Steam ones. <laughs> It seemed I'd inadvertently str uh, sprained my back a little where I landed. Better than landing on that ink stone. Oh, you're new! Hey, girl! Small hand gently rubbed my head. <laughs> Rika, eh? Alright. Interesting. You're like a young Yumiko, it looks. Oh, wow, you look pretty different in the original art style, but I actually like that. I actually like that art style. Damn, she looks very different in the three different art styles. I actually might like the original most. Mainly because, for some reason, she's wearing, like, a one-inch skirt in this one. The small, dainty hand continued to gently stroke my head. <laughs> I thought about asking how rubbing my head would help my back, but I didn't. It's not so much about what you actually do, it's the thought that counts. You seem a lot nicer than Satoko. Rika-chan greeted us, each of us with an adorable little bow. It was infectious. Rena, Mion, and I all bowed back. <laughs> Unlike some people here. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's justified. I glared over in the direction. Satoko was whistling while Ravard deliberately trying to avoid eye contact. You stuck thumbtacks in the door trying to kill us. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Keiichi on this one. He's based. Uh-uh. You admitted to it! I picked Satoko up by the back of her collar. She looks like a misbehaved cat when I do this. But a cat wouldn't be setting traps. She's much harder to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> I cocked my index finger on my thumb, letting it resemble as I, or letting it tremble as I brought it closer to Satoko's forehead. You admitted to it. Uh oh. 
人様が聞いたら誤解するような言い方をするんじゃねえ By the way, are we the only people in the class, or is it like all fruity students are in here? A small hand tugged on the back of my shirt. So? She stuck thumbtacks in the door trying to hurt us! I don't think you understand, Rika. Rika chan really is just so. How could I do anything more after being told that? Uh, easily. <laughs> I gently released my grip on Satoko, who at this point was on the verge of tears. She still had her eyes clamped shut as she braced for herself for the forehead flick. Look, if you missed us, then... That's fine, but don't try to hurt people. Are you a psycho? Those are 100% crocodile tears. No question. Uh-huh. Yeah, look, she's not even crying in the PlayStation version. That's how you know it's fake. <laughs> it's weird that Rika smi is smiling in the Steam version, but is like very much just kind of. Well. <laughs> but she's literally just. I guess that's like a half smile here. Hardly noticeable. And then in this one, she's just like. Don't cry, Satoko. This is this is inter this is fun. I like switching between the graphics. <laughs> so yeah, this I look. I was trying to figure out when to play this because I kind of want to finish up chapter one before the end of Halloween. I looked up online how long it takes to finish chapter one, and it, I got a, a variety of answers. Some were like it's only eight hours. Some were like oh it's twelve hours. Some were like it's twenty hours. I'm like well I'm gonna be talking a lot in the middle of this, so I I kind of erred on the high side. <laughs> Rika gently petted her the head of her prankster friend. You would never guess that these two are the same age. I think Satoko could learn a thing or a million from Rika-chan. Rika, do not encourage her in this bad behavior. Okay, now Rika's smiling in the original. And now she's smiling. Okay, okay, there we go. There we go. Everyone's happy except Satoko, but I can live with that. Wait a minute. Um, what is that face? I am concerned right now. What is that? What is that? Like, I will eat you. <laughs> oh, is it supposed to be her looking, like, flustered? Yikes! That might be even creepier! Ah, <laughs> uh, no, no, this is the creepiest. As she observed the scene, Rena's expression grew ecstatic as she began to swoon. That's her swoon face? <laughs> That's out of a nightmare! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, she's crying! Uh-huh. Um, true. They have their own houses. I assume. What do you mean by chapters? Because I only have chapter one. All the other chapters cost money. So I'm going to be playing for chapter one uh, throughout October. And I want to finish chapter one by the end of Halloween. And I don't even know if we'll continue Higurashi after that. If you want... Okay, Rena, if you want to invite them over to your place for like a sleepover or something, then yeah, that's fine. But you can't kidnap them, okay? This is like being a human 101. Rena kept a cutesy face, even as outrageous ideas spewed from her mouth. According to Mion, Rena is ridiculously weak to cute veins and always tries to take them home. What? Okay, remind me never to uh, let my pets out around Rena. <laughs> Object or person. True. True. Rena swooned over Satoko's crying form. Okay. If a girl ever goes missing in Hinamizawa, I'll be forced to turn Rena into the authorities. Cool. Forgive me, Rena. No, no, if she kidnaps people, that's how it goes. I'll be sure to bring you care packages when they put you away. <laughs> like, key lime pie. Oh, wait. 
Satoko, take the freaking thumb tax out of the door. Just from Mion's single statement, the entire mood of the room shifted back to normal. The ink stone was bad, but the thumb tax stuck to the door handle were an even bigger problem. Yes! Based! I pulled the tape off carefully, making sure not to skewer myself. Even though Satoko was the one who set it up, everyone I had to pick up after her. How about we just let her deal with the consequences of her own actions? Y yes, I'm not doing the whole game tonight. No way, no how. By the time the teacher entered the room, the bedlam from before had been neatly tidied up. <laughs> this also might be one of those things where we don't even get to the horror aspect of the game until, like, multiple streams in. Mion gave out the morning commands. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Okay, she's gone. It's difficult being the teacher for all of these different grades in one classroom. Yeah, I imagine. How do you teach math? It's like, all right, Keiichi, you need to learn about calculus. Uh, Satoko, you don't even know basic arithmetic. And uh, Rika, you're working on... <laughs> You're working on advanced linear algebra, so here we go. It's difficult being the... <laughs> yeah. She has to teach something different to each one. But naturally, she ends up spending all of her time with the younger kids. Rena and Mion, being in the highest grade in the class, end up mostly doing self-study. They even end up helping teach the younger kids, so it seems like they can never get to their own studies. They're actually way behind where my studies have progressed to. <laughs> Not that I would ever brag about that. As a result, I'm pretty much taking over for the teacher and helping Rena and Mion with their studies. Wow. We're playing as an actual gifted student and not a slacker. Rena took a breather after finishing highlighting an important section. <laughs> but it probably makes you better at what you do know. If you want to teach them well, then yes. In contrast, this person over here is quite laissez-faire about things. For one, isn't she supposed to be in a higher grade than me? <laughs> With these marks. Oh, she, are, she wants to be a painter as well! <laughs> Her staunch defiance was really something else. This was a different type of relax than somebody who already knew what was going to be on the entrance exams. Entrix. I gotta say, out of all the girls, Rena definitely seems like the, uh, the real winner here. I mean, normally I'd say Rika, but it appears Rika is like 10 years old, so we, we ain't going down that path. No freaking way. Well, actually, maybe... No, Rena and Mion are supposed to be the, like, oldest girls, so... Oh, see? Okay, I like Keiichi. He seems like a pretty cool protagonist. <laughs> it's the derp face again. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Okay, let, let's not be a lech, alright? A puff of smoke shaped like a halo popped out of Rena's head. What? Is she a robot? <laughs> exactly what kind of private lesson is she fantasizing about that's making her turn so red? Obviously, where we, uh, literature, where we read the romance novels to her. I'd like to hear the play-by-play -play of that next time. <laughs> oh wait, hang on. There's a smudge on my screen. I did. How do you make your mouth go vertical like that, Mion? How do you do that? While Mion was flipping through her vocabulary flashcard, she threw out a casual question. Did she know? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Ugh, it looks like she's hitchhiking, like, Hey, I really want to go to Disney World. Please pick me up. <laughs> I totally won't kill you in the car. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> she looks... <laughs> wow. Oh, man. I freaking love the different art styles. It's great. <laughs> Why 
in the big boy city. True. I don't know what they're studying, but. <laughs> it depends on what you want your life to look like. Ah, uh, well, it depends. Again, everything depends. There's no way everything you learn at school is going to take uh, is going to play a part in your future. Like, there's no way. But generally, some stuff will play a big role. So, like for me, I learned a lot of math. Most most of it I don't really use, but I like knowing it. And I do use some of it. Other people who want to go into like writing or stuff, you really don't need to know math beyond basic algebra. No school system's gonna be perfect, but we just we gotta try our best. No, Mobius, nothing scary's happened yet, unless unless you count uh, Rena's a woo face. <laughs> Study equals entrance exams. I, why can I not say that? Study equals entrance exams. There we go. Having that basic law of the universe so easily overturned sent me into a state of shock. Here's what I'm... <laughs> okay, hey, Dad, I get it. <laughs> no, I don't really like that. Okay, yeah, I, I, love, I love the, like, straight line smirk. I also like that smirk. That smirk's also fun. <laughs> I wish there was a hotkey shortcut for that. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> I'm just cycling for the different art styles. <laughs> it's, it's no big deal. <laughs> it's, here's what I'm guessing. I'm guessing what they're doing. Because I've heard that this game is actually really scary and really messed up. If I were making a horror of a game visual novel, I would do it this way. I would make it seem like all oh, wholesome and nice. I'm like, this is just really, really fun and like cute. And then, whoa, when you least when you least expect it, then things go down a dark path. That's what Doki Doki Literature Club did, and that's what I'm guessing this one's gonna do as well. まあ、そうだけど。でも一般常識程度にはできた方が。ねえ。おじさんはそんな無駄な勉強に時間をかけるよりさ。ウェイ。Are streaming at a consistent 1600 kilobits per second, so I don't know what to tell you. It was too profound of a statement to simply laugh off. But since it was me own, it probably didn't actually have that deep of a meaning. In place of a chime, the sound of the principal waving a bell, handbell, drifted through the classroom. Oh yes, best part of school, lunchtime. In a complete 180 from her unmotivated state, Mion gave the commands that signaled the end of the morning period. <laughs> 